The Robbie Tolan shooting incident took place in Bel Air, Texas, United States on December 31, 2008, when 10 year Bel Air police veteran, Jeffrey Cotton, shot unarmed Robbie Tolan, son of famed baseball player, Bobby Tolan, in his parents' driveway. Tolan sustained serious injuries in the shooting and charges were pressed against Cotton. On May 11, 2010 a jury reached a verdict of not guilty and Cotton was acquitted much to the dismay of minority leaders and critics around the country who continue to cite the case as an example of racial profiling and institutional racism. The incident was featured in episode 18 of the podcast Criminal. Robert Tolan, born July 15, 1985, is the son of world champion baseball player Bobby Tolan of the St. Louis Cardinals and the Cincinnati Reds. He himself plays professional baseball for the Washington Nationals organization. Before the incident, he last played for the Bay Area Toros. Robbie was shot during Cotton's carrying out of an investigation, suspecting Tolan to be driving a stolen vehicle, however, the vehicle turned out to belong to Tolan. Shooting Incident Around 2 a.m., on December 31, 2008, Robbie Tolan and his cousin were confronted in their driveway, in the prominent, predominantly white city of Bel Air, Texas by Bel Air police officers who suspected that the young men were driving a stolen vehicle. According to relatives, the two young men were returning from a late-night run to Jack in the Box. Tolan's cousin, Anthony Cooper reported that the police officers emerged from the darkness pointing a flashlight and gun at them. The officer reportedly commanded them to stop before announcing his status as a police officer. After the officer ordered them to get on the ground, the parents came outside to attend to the unidentified noise. At this point, Officer Cotton arrived on the scene as backup to the original officer. Robbie Tolan and other family members report that the altercation between Robbie Tolan and Officer Cotton ensued after Cotton pushed Tolan's mother up against the garage door. Robbie got up from the ground and moved toward the policeman. Cotton turned and fired a shot into Robbie Tolan's chest, sending the bullet through his lung and lodging it into his liver, where it settled and threatened his life. Officer Cotton defended himself stating that he thought Tolan was reaching for a weapon and reacted quickly in what he thought was self-defense. He then searched Tolan who was on the ground and found no weapon on his person. The Bel Air, Texas Police Department called the shooting tragic and put Officer Cotton on administrative leave, while rejecting that any allegation of racial profiling would be entertained by the police department. Criminal Trial and Acquittal on Charges the Harris County District Attorney's Office pressed charges against Officer Jeffrey Cotton, for aggravated assault by a public servant in the matter of the shooting of Robbie Tolan, claiming that he neglected the basic safety procedures before shooting Tolan. The case involved discussion of racial profiling and racial bias on the part of Jeffrey Cotton, a white man, who shot Robbie Tolan, a black man, two of the jury's nine women were black and the rest of the jury were white men. Cotton was freed on $20,000 bond while the case was pending. On May 11, 2010 a jury reached a verdict of not guilty and Cotton was acquitted, much to the dismay of minority leaders and critics around the country who continue to cite the case as an example of racial profiling and institutional racism. Moreover, the jury declined to convict Officer Cotton on a variety of lesser-included offenses ranging from assault to deadly conduct to reckless endangerment. After the acquittal of Officer Cotton, African American leaders and activists protested outside of the police department for what they perceived to be a classic case of racial bias and injustice. Civil Trial Pursuant to the allegations of racial bias, profiling, and discrimination, a civil suit was filed against Jeffrey Cotton and the city of Bel Air. The federal civil case was initially dismissed by the District Court for the Southern District of Texas based on qualified immunity then appealed to the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit, where a three-judge panel upheld the dismissal from the district court based on qualified immunity. The case was then appealed to the full Fifth Circuit Court and who also upheld the dismissal based on qualified immunity. After a final appeal to the Scottis, the case was returned to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals for further review. The Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals revised their original decision slightly, vacating a small portion of the district court's decision, 
and remanded the case back to the district court for further review. The district court's review is pending with a decision expected sometime during 2015 which could revise their prior decision, still upholding the dismissal on qualified immunity, or order the setting of a trial.